New government figures show consumer confidence is at an eight-month high right now, and some companies are riding that wave with products that are more innovative and even a little wacky. Advertising expert Barbara Lippert is here with some of her favorite new consumer products. Barbara, great to see you this morning. Good great morning. Great to see you, Chris. So 2011 is going to be a big year, and, and I guess innovation is back in for the first time yes, in a while. Yes, 2009 was particularly bad, like nothing introduced because companies were risk-averse. The economy was so bad. But this year, there's sort of a pent-up demand, and companies are going to take risks. Risks, and there's a lot of, you know, wacky, fun, techno-wild stuff out there. Yeah, so they had two years to kind of figure out uh, some new trends. Exactly, and they were even listening on blogs and on Facebook, you know, listening to what people were doing, and some of this came out of, directly from that research. It's nice, so the consumers actually have some input, huh? Exactly, and, and some of these also prove that, you know, you can never underestimate the American public's laziness. Yes. I mean, everything is instant. You know, well, technology, convenience is good, though, Technology too. in the service of laziness and yeah. convenience, and low price, too. Let's talk about Orville Redenbacher popcorn because I didn't think popcorn could get much better, but somehow this is really done. great. The, it, you don't have to use a bowl. You don't have to get out a bowl, wash a bowl, any of that. It it pops up in its own little bowl, and it seems like it would be eco-friendly too if you could eat the bowl. But I don't I don't want anybody doing That's that. That was a joke. <laughs> it, exactly. But I think this is a great idea. It's as cute as can be. Everything's delicious, and it makes it that much easier. And the popcorn is fantastic. And now on the microwave, you don't even have to put the time in. You just put popcorn. We want to make it easy, and that's what we've done. Tater tots? That's another thing. Well, of course, there's the health trend, and sweet potatoes are healthier mm -hmm. than regular potatoes, more beta carotene and yeah. vitamin A. So it, it takes that trends of people still wanting to be kids and have their guilty pleasures, but making it a little more healthy. Yeah. I mean, as a kid, I love tater tots, especially yeah. school meals. And, and now, you know, the fancy restaurants had mm. um, sweet potato fries, so oh. this sort of trickles down into the tots. I kind of like them as an adult now, too. Pretty good. They're pretty good. And what another they, line extension. What have they done with dips? With Frito-Lay. This makes a lot of sense. Um, this, they have new technology that makes the flavors really delicious, so you just get out a little avocado, maybe a little lime. You put this in it, and it tastes like from scratch and homemade, okay. and it goes perfectly with your chips, and it's a way to extend Frito-Lay beyond chips. Kind of like Hamburger Helper. Exactly, but a little, you know, a little fresher going along with that technology. We got some helper friends over here. Yeah, Philadelphia. Cream and cheese. this came right out of social media. They were finding that, you know, they want to break out, bust out beyond the bagel. You know, they were slaves to the bagel. They were finding that people were cooking with it, but they needed it soft to cook with it. Okay. So they came out with these little tubs, which makes it easier to use cream cheese instead of sour cream. Okay, and all different flavors too. You've got Italian cheese and herb there. You've got savory garlic, Santa Fe blend. Right. And it's also easy in this container. Biscuits. What could they have possibly done with biscuits? Well, th this is to aimed at boomer women who are flexitarians. Flexitarians, and, that's, and that is? That's, they're not like extreme vegetarians, but they'd like to cut down on their meat consumption. Okay. They love meat, but they're worried about their cholesterol. So this is all soy-based, okay. and it's delicious, and you get your bacon flavors and egg and cheese and everything, but you, it's a little healthier okay. because so what, it's soy-based. So the trend that we're seeing here, convenience, Affordability. A lot of this stuff is very affordable, and also a little bit on the healthier kick too. Exactly, and Insta. Which gets me to these uh, these cracker chips. Exactly. Here. We're all grown up kids, and I know if you have kids, you know you're familiar with the goldfish. I actually still have my son's plastic goldfish in the yeah. shape of a fish that I eat out of. I don't care. But this is to make it a little more sophisticated, a little more grown up. It's a combination of the go of a chip yeah. and a cracker, and it seems a little more sophisticated, and again, uh, baked and natural, so very it's good. healthy. And I, and I love goldfish as well. I still to this day go through them. You don't have to be embarrassed. Like they're going out of style. Okay, let's go to some you know, some more, more skin care, some, some beauty products. What do we have here? Well, this is sort of the do-it-yourself trend. In the 90s, maybe people got used to fancy spa treatments yeah. that were expensive. This is like a $200 kit that only costs $30. And, it, you know, you can roll your skin the There's way they personal, do. Personal facial, right? Exactly. Okay. And... Um, before, you really would have had to lay out a lot more money for it, but you can do it by yourself at home, and it's sort of the democratization of luxury. Got it. Uh, this is uh, a little shampoo. Shampoo. Dry shampoo. Uh, you know, that's been around since the 60s, but this is much better because it's like what the celebrities use in that it has the hair tone in it, so it doesn't look like you put talcum powder on your head. Yeah. And um, so it, it thickens the hair and gives you like an instant shampoo. Gotta say, I've really never understood the concept of why you'd want to do it. If you're gonna shampoo, you may as well use the water. Well, Always it kind of takes too take. long. Yeah. <laughs> it's like standing in front of a microwave saying, hurry up! And finally, just toothpaste here, real quick. Yeah, it's like 
what's more boring than brushing your teeth? So this makes it entertainment. It makes it an experience. It foams in your mouth. An entertaining way exactly. to freshen your breath and whiten your teeth. What else can we think of? Barbara, thank you very much. We thank appreciate you. it. Good to talk to you this morning.